the Nigerian Stock Exchange NSE, has started working on the final stages of its conversion from a not-for-profit limited by guarantee entity into a profit-making, shareholders-owned public limited liability company. The conversion is technically known as demutualization. NSE Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Oscar Anyema, confirmed that the Demutualization Act, which was signed into law by President Muhammadu Buhari, has been gazetted and forms the legal background for the demutualization process. According to him, the exchange has gone farther than it had ever been in the conversion process and has started working on the final stages of the process. He said the exchange was committed, not only to early completion of the process, but to ensure that the conversion enhances its success story. While the NSE was initially incorporated under the company's ordinance of 1958 on September 15, 1960 as a private company limited by guarantee with a share capital, it was re-registered as a company limited by guarantee without a share capital in 1990 upon the enactment of the company's. Kama had required all companies limited by guarantee that had a share capital to be converted to companies limited by guarantee without share capital, thus the exchange's memorandum of association was duly altered and the NSE has since been a not-for-profit corporate legal entity without a shareholding structure. The demutualization process was launched in 2002 with the approval in principle of the conversion by the Council of the Exchange. Members of the exchange in March 2017 passed crucial resolutions that authorized the council and management to proceed with the process leading up to the demutualization of the exchange. The members of the exchange also ratified and approved the engagement of financial advisors, legal advisors, tax advisors and any other advisor that may be required for the demutualization while mandating the council and management to do all things and exercise all such powers as may be necessary or incidental to achieving the objective of demutualization, subject to applicable laws and regulations and obtaining the approvals of members and the relevant regulatory authorities. Out of the 27 African stock exchanges under the aegis of African Securities Exchanges Association, ASEA, seven stock exchanges including Johannesburg, Nairobi, Mauritius, Seychelles, Rwandan, Casablanca stock exchanges and BRVM have been demutualized. Academic research on the effect of demutualization on the financial performance of 20 demutualized exchanges between 1996 and 2008, suggested that the return on equity increased by an average 5% to 20%, with the average net profit margin increasing by 14% to 30%. Mutualization has also contributed positively to stock market performance. On the back of strong macroeconomic performance, improved regulation and other factors, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange JSE, All Share Index has grown by 280% since its demutualization in 2005 to reach 53,817.31 points as at the end of April 2017. Following demutualization, a number of stock exchanges had repositioned their markets, building alliances or consolidating within and across borders in order to enhance their attractiveness. For example, in 2006, the Australian Stock Exchange merged with the Sydney Futures Exchange to form the Australian Securities Exchange ASX. In 2007, the New York Stock Exchange NYSE merged with Euronex to form NYSE Euronex, creating the world's largest stock exchange with revenues of $4.5 billion. The approved rules on demutualization by Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, simply define demutualization as the process through which a member-owned organization becomes a shareholder-owned company. The demutualization framework approved by SEC stresses that the process of demutualization of the securities exchange should include an exchange of membership rights in the securities exchange for ownership of shares in the demutualized securities exchange. According to an informed source on the demutualization process, after valuation of the exchange, determination of members who are qualified for shareholdings and the appropriate number of shares receivable by each member, the primary allotment of shares would be done to current members of the exchange, thus formally converting the exchange from its current members' owned status to shareholders' owned status. 
The SEC's rules on demutualization allow the exchange to give equity interest to a strategic investor subject to establishment of the fact that the strategic investor has technical expertise through previous experience in managing other exchanges and the aggregate number of shares to be offered to the strategic investors shall not be more than 30% of issued and fully paid up capital of the securities exchange. However, if the exchange is in dire need of funds, it could issue a higher number of shares subject to approval of the Commission. The rules indicate that stockbrokers, who constitute the largest members of the NSC, may have to sell down their shareholdings within a period of five years in the demutualized exchange. The rules indicated that the aggregate equity interests of members of any specific stakeholder group such as stockbrokers and broker-dealer in the demutualized securities exchange should not exceed 20%. The rules also retained the provision that no individual or entity must directly or indirectly own more than 5% of the issued shares or voting rights in a demutualized securities exchange. The rules, made pursuant to Section 313 of the Investments and Securities Act ESA, 2007, describe related entities and persons as a person or entity that is related to the entity or person that owns the equity or the voting rights. The rules stipulate that the securities exchange should initiate a process for determining the accurate list of members of the exchange prior to the commencement of demutualization. The stakeholder groups, who are shareholders of the securities exchange, shall with effect from the date of demutualization, shall reduce their cumulative shareholding in the demutualized securities exchange to no more than 20% within five years, according to the rules. As part of preconditions for demutualization, a securities exchange shall, prior to demutualization, submit the names and profiles of members of its Committee on Demutualization, Evaluation Report, the Draft Memorandum and Articles of Association of the Securities Exchange, the Proposed Rules of the Demutualized Securities Exchange, the Proposed Allotment and the Basis of the Proposed Allotment of Shares to the Initial Shareholders of the Securities Exchange, a list of the Directors proposed as the Board of the Securities Exchange. Implementation plan stating the process to be adopted for effecting the demutualization of the exchange, including but not limited to the treatment of the rights and liabilities of the existing members of the exchange and the proposed plan for the independent management of the commercial and regulatory functions of the demutualized securities exchange and timelines for implementation of necessary structures to ensure the functional treatment of commercial and regulatory functions for a no objection clearance by SEC. Tags, Demutualization Nigerian Stock Exchange